we've got elections on Sunday. It should be the first major test of support for the ruling Democratic Party there since it won a landslide victory in the lower house polls uh, back in August. Mike Fern is in Tokyo. DPJ, how is it expected to perform? Do you think changing the lead has made a difference here? Uh, well, the current leaders are falling in the popularity poll, so maybe not. Uh, it's a 240-seat House, half of those seats up for grabs, which means that uh, you need to get 56 seats for an absolute majority. Nato Khan, the Prime Minister, says his party will hang on to the 54 seats it holds, uh, which means the coalition partner, the People's New Party, would need to win two seats to give it uh, enough to push bills through. This is important because the DPJ doesn't have enough seats in the lower house now to pass any legislation that's been knocked down from the upper house. A Mainichi newspaper poll Monday suggests that CAM may achieve the target. It says the DPJ is going to win between 49 and 59 seats. It says the coalition partner, the People's New Party, will win one seat at best. And it says the main opposition, the Liberal Democratic Party of Japan, will win 39 to 48 seats. The outcome is difficult to predict. The public didn't, doesn't, doesn't think much of what the DPJ has done since coming to power. On the other hand, they think even less of the other, of the other parties. Uh, Mike, you know, Okinawa was the big issue before. Is that one of the main issues still? It is one of the issues. Certainly the DPJ not expected to do very well on that island. But the main issue dominating the election is taxes. The Prime Minister says he wants to double sales tax to 10 percent. He did water down his comments uh, because he was worried about a voter backlash probably ahead of Sunday's poll, saying that's not going to happen for two to three years and he will call a lower house election before any changes. However, the government's chief cabinet spokesman says that uh, they need to find ways to pay off public debt because it's risen to twice the size of the economy. Macroeconomic policy has put huge stress on Japan's fiscal situation for a long time. If it continues, a huge debt will be passed on to the next generation. It's obvious the current fiscal policy isn't sustainable and we have to come up with a new one. But we're still working out where to start and trying to build support from opposition parties. Tax may not be the answer, though. Japanese companies are pushing to pay less tax to help op offset the erosion of their overseas profits by the rising yen. The Automobile Manufacturers Association proposing a 25 to 30 percent tax cut. I'm glad many parties promised to cut corporate taxes in their election manifestos. The winning party should implement tax reform as soon as possible because it will make Japanese companies more competitive and persuade them not to move their operations overseas. Okinawa is still uh, an issue, Rish, as you mentioned. Uh, Yukio Hadayama having to quit as Prime Minister last month, the public angry over a decision to move a marine base to another part of the island rather than taking it off the island. And Naoto Kan said that he would honour that decision, but he wants to ease the military burden on Okinawa. There was a poll in today's Yomiuri newspaper showing support for the government plunging 15 points in three weeks. However, 24 per cent say they'll vote DPJ, 17 per cent for the LDP, Rish. Thanks, sir, for that, Mike.